What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical. Uh, this video is going to be something that uh, some of you may like, some of you may not like. That's okay. Uh, you don't have to like everything I do, but I do want to start out by saying uh, prepare yourself. This will be a good one. Um, last night, I'll catch you up. Last night, today is October 19th, 2017. So last night, uh, the Gun Collective YouTube channel decided to have a roundtable discussion on what was supposed to be about gun rights, um, the NRA, should we continue to support them or not, and other roundtable uh, topics. Um, he had uh, an, an illustrious um, panel. Um, I'm not going to name all of them, but they did include Tim from Military Arms Channel, Iraq Veteran 8888, and then a bunch of people that I have never heard of, which is fine. Uh, they're buddies of this guy, and John Patton is, uh, was the one that was heading up the roundtable discussion from the Gun Collective, and so John um, uh, decided to bring some of his buddies in on a gun, uh, a gun rights and NRA roundtable discussion. So what I want to do is I'm going to get in and I'm going to um, go over some things that were said by certain uh, people on the original uh, roundtable and uh, kind of give you my two cents on what I feel about uh, the comments and I don't know these per people personally, um, but I can um, give you my thoughts on what they are about and, um, and all that. So here we go. Like I said, the, um, the host of this roundtable discussion was John Patton from the Gun Collective. Um, among others, he had um, uh, Chris Bardugon or I don't even know. He is the president of Rand CLP. He had a guy named David Famigletti uh, from the New Frontier Armory. I've kind of coined the phrase, uh, and I called him Powder. Uh, so if you hear me refer to Powder, that's him. He had um, Clint Walker, apparently of Instagram fame. He also does work with Zero Delta. Uh, good for him. Um, we'll get into him in a minute. And um, obviously they had Iraq Vader 8088 and uh, Mac was there. Uh, Tim from uh, Military Arms Channel. There's a couple others that were there that weren't really necessarily involved a whole lot. Didn't say a whole lot, which is fine. Um, but then there was another guy named Adam Kraut. And he's an attorney from Pennsylvania, I believe. Um, he is the host of the legal brief on the gun collective and, uh, we'll get into him a little bit also here in a little bit, but where I wanted to start out with was, uh, and I'm not going to call it click candy. Um, but the title of the initial round table was gun rights NRA round table. Um, he starts out by saying, Hey, we're going to talk about the NRA and, and, you know, should we continue to support them and all of that? Well, that obviously did not necessarily happen because basically what it turned into was a love fest for the NRA. Now, I understand that a lot of you are NRA members um, and, and big NRA supporters. That's great. Uh, go for it. I did not renew my NRA membership. I do not plan on doing that uh, until things are changed. Now, that being said, is Adam Kraut, this legal attorney guy, um, came on and started talking about the only way that you can change the NRA is from the inside and keep sending them your money and let's get the right people, um, let's get the right people on the board of directors for the NRA. And it, it turns out later that he's actually running for a board of director position at the NRA. So he obviously is not going to give his true, if his true feelings are different than what he said last night, his true beliefs on the NRA. He's not going to listen to objective conversation about the NRA. He's running for board membership on the NRA. 
So the only way in his mind that you can change the NRA is by continuing to feed these idiots money and change it from within. And let's get people like him on the board of directors. Well, I can sit there and say this. Um, over the last 20, 25 years plus, what exactly has the NRA done to show its members that they are true gun right activists and advocates besides trying to position themselves as the strong arm of the gun lobby? Yes, there are 5 million members of the NRA. Fantastic. But what are you doing to help the gun rights of your, your membership? On October 5th, a day or two after the horrific events that took place in Las Vegas, uh, a tragic event in American history, no doubt, your NRA decides to put out a statement that says verbatim, the National Rifle Association is calling on the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives to immediately review whether these devices comply with federal law. The NRA believes that devices designed to allow semi-automatic rifles to function like fully automatic rifles should be subject to additional regulations. Does this sound like a pro-gun and Second Amendment advocate organization or someone who is worried so much about public perception that they are going to betray their own membership and put out a public statement that will lead to gun control. I can't make that decision for you guys. That's on you. So Adam Kraut decides that he says that we need to um, change the NRA from within. I say this, Adam, instead of me giving my money to a, an organization that is obviously able and willing to betray their membership on in a getting any given instance, I think that I would much rather take my money if I'm going to support organization and send it to someone like Eric Pratt in the GOA. If you aren't familiar with Eric Pratt, go, go Google Eric Pratt CNN and see what Eric Pratt's all about. He'll take on CNN and Fox and all of these other people that are talking about gun control and take them head on and just destroy them with true facts and figures. He's not going to allow them to distort his saying, his words and his, his, his facts and, and numbers. He's going to sit there and say, no, the Second Amendment is there for a reason and you will not infringe on our liberties. So Eric, uh, Adam Kraut, good luck on the election, but I don't see that one happening. The next person I want to call out is Chris Bardagon. Uh, he is the president of RAND CLP. Chris didn't have a whole lot to say through this uh, roundtable discussion, except for one, we'll call it, major announcement that his beliefs are. He literally, in the middle of a comment, is slooping in his chair and made a comment that said, I really don't care, all I worry about are sales. So this guy right here is flat out telling his consumers and his supporters that I don't care about your rights as long as you keep buying my product. Really? Well, how about this? I will never buy Rand CLP, and I hope that anyone who watches this will never buy Rand CLP because he obviously does not care about your rights. He cares about his pocketbook. So have fun with that one, buddy. The next one, Clint Walker. Now, this guy was a doozy. Clint Walker is apparently uh, of Instagram fame. Uh, I, I don't know much about what he does on Instagram, except that he posts some very random fish and different pictures that have absolutely nothing to do with the Second Amendment, gun rights, or being a gun guy himself. It's some random just pictures that apparently people like looking at okay that's fine do what you got to do waste your time if you want but clint walker not only did he act like that he was completely stoned out of his mind but i would say this when asked the question about wayne lapierre and the nra 
he goes into immediate reaction of Wayne LaPierre is a dear friend of mine. I've been in a deer stand with him and we travel together. So exactly are we supposed to be getting his true feelings about the NRA because he's not going to betray his travel buddy. He's going to make sure that his friend is being well represented. Uh, are you starting to see a trend here? Uh, this is obviously not going to be about their true beliefs on whether we should continue to support the NRA or not. This is going to be an NRA love fest. That's fine if you love the NRA, but understand this. The NRA has some serious, serious issues with the gun community and the Second Amendment and its members. And this is not helping to bring more people in. If anything, you actually hurt the NRA because you're obviously blatantly controlled and either compensated or at least supported by the NRA to where everyone understands by watching this video, it's not going to be your true beliefs. It's not going to be an opinion of yourself. It's going to be what the NRA is wanting the rhetoric to be out there. So, Clint... Keep on smoking the weed, dude. Keep on posting the fish and the old man pictures. And I hope you have fun traveling with Wayne LaPierre. So the next guy that I'm going to go after right now is David Famigletti. We're going to talk about powder. This guy, I guess, runs the uh, New Frontier Armory. And I understand that's in the Vegas area. So this guy comes on. And starts talking about the NRA. He says that he is a supporter of the GOA, but he is also still a supporter of the NRA because they are a necessary evil. His words, not mine. So this is a guy who's supporting the NRA while in the same sentence calling them a necessary evil. Well, there is nothing necessary about an evil organization who's out there and is willing and able to betray its membership at the blink of an eye. If you're calling an organization evil, then why are you still supporting that organization? Answer that one for me, Powder. They say, he said that uh, it's, un, it's, it's too bad that the media and the membership and the pro-gun community is blaming certain individuals for the NRA statement. Not only was the statement made, it was published in every major media outlet in the world. They even put it on their own website. So it's not like there's some rogue guy at the NRA saying, well, somebody asked me about what I thought about Bumps Fire Stocks. I think I'll make a statement. No, 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 no. This was a statement prepared and published by the NRA in major news outlets all over the world and, yes, published on their own website. They wanted to send the Bump Fire Stock in any other device that can make a semi-automatic rifle into a fully automatic rifle and send that to the ATF if to have them to look at it again to see if it needs to be restricted. Is this an organization that you want supporting your gun rights and your second amendment or is this a community or an organization that will fold under the pressure of yes a horrific tragedy. There was an evil person in a hotel that created a monstrosity of a situation by killing over 50 people. So the NRA goes out and makes this statement. They're obviously proving that they will fold under media and public scrutiny. They will say whatever they have to do to make themselves not look like the bad guy. Well, you know what? We don't care if you look like the bad guy. We're asking you, and yet we're paying you, the NRA, to support the Second Amendment and support our gun rights. It is not your job as an organization to fold under pressure and make whatever statement you feel needs to get you in the political arena. It's stand up, be strong, reach down, grab a hold, and do your jobs. The third thing that he said is that nobody's going to care about this two weeks from now. Really? So no one's going to care when HR 3999 and HR 4052, both anti-gun laws, 
are going to be trying to push through the House. No one's going to care. No one's going to care in two weeks about H.R. 38, which is the National Reciprocity Act, or the SHARE Act going through. No one's going to care about those in two weeks. Here's the problem, guys, and I'm going to get off my soapbox here for just one second, I promise you. But here's the problem I have. The NRA is a great organization when it comes to training and education. That's basically what they were starting with. If they would just go back to being the world leaders in firearm training and education, then I wouldn't have a problem with them. But see, in the last 25 to 30 years, they positioned themselves to be the strong arm of the gun community, the beacon of light for the Second Amendment. Are you kidding me? Name one thing in the 25 years that they've actually gone out and strong-armed to make sure that our gun rights are protected, either with pro-gun legislation or anti or fighting anti-gun legislation. No. Here's the problem. If you're so powerful, NRA, for the first time in a long time, we have a Republican president, a Republican Congress, and a Republican Senate. And why are we still worried that the SHARE Act and national reciprocity might not go through? We shouldn't have to worry about this at all. If you're doing your job being the strong arm of the Second Amendment, make sure that these Republicans understand that these bills are incredibly important to the Second Amendment and the pro-gun community. We shouldn't have to be worried about, man, I hope the SHARE Act passes or I hope national reciprocity passes because here's the thing. If the NRA was as strong as they want to be, they wouldn't ever have to worry about that. So that's why I, personally, am not going to follow and support the NRA for a while because I don't think that they have our best interests in mind, and I don't think they're as powerful as they want to be. They're a political group now that doesn't know how to be political. You want to support someone who can go and be political and not be afraid? Go support the Gun Owners of America. Go support the Second Amendment Foundation. This is an organization that still takes municipalities and states and other organizations to court when they believe that the Second Amendment is being infringed upon. Go support the Second Amendment Foundation and go support the Gun Owners of America. I do not agree with the fact that you have to be from within side to change the NRA. You know what's going to change the NRA? Is if a mass exodus of 2 to 3 million of the 5 million followers and supporters of the NRA leave the NRA and say, we're not coming back until you figure out what the hell's wrong with you. That's how you change the NRA. Not changing it from the board of directors, because the board of directors don't have to worry about an audit. They can say whatever they want were the voting results. They can make anyone they want a board director because no one has to audit that vote. So if you want to change the NRA, drop the NRA, and let's see what happens when half their membership leaves in the next two months and see how they feel at that point. Go support the GOA and go support this SAF, among others, state and local organizations as well. Now, on a bright side, what I would like to bring up is that Tim from Military Arms Channel, we'll call him Mac, uh, Mac was the only beacon of true light on on that panel last night. Mac was exactly what we need. Mac, if he was on the board of the NRA, I'd be back on board with the NRA. Mac took these guys toe-to-toe and basically shoved it down their face that these guys are idiots. He was not afraid to make a public statement in a, in, against the NRA. He was not afraid to tell these guys that they're idiots. He straight up told the truth and what he thought is, is his belief about the NRA and the community in itself. So kudos to Tim at Military Arms Channel. Dude, you are awesome. You have a bunch of people out here that were clapping, literally clapping in front of their computers last night when you spoke. I respect that, and I really, really appreciate what you did. So thank you, Mac, for that. Guys, my rant is over. I will say this to Chris Bardigan, John Patton, David Famigletti, Adam Kraut, Clint Walker, or any of these guys. If you want to have a true, true debate about the Second Amendment and gun rights, come on over to GunChannels.com. We would love to have you come join any of our nightly shows that are over there, including myself. Come on over and we'll have a true discussion, not what NRA wants us to say. We'll have a true discussion on a panel of mixed people that will understand what is the problem with the NRA and where we need to do to, and what we need to do to fix it. So if you really want to have a true discussion on it, we invite you to come over to gunchannels.com and face the music.
Until next time, guys, Semper Fi. Hey guys, Ghost here. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Until next time, happy shooting.